Good evening. This is CTV News for July 18th. I'm Gina Barti. And I'm Byron Scott. Thank you for joining us tonight. Well, a controversial project before the county's planning board drew hundreds of people to council chambers. This was the scene this afternoon as the planning board considered a plan to put a distribution center next to the West Fallen Town Center. Many residents fear the facility, rumored to be an Amazon center, will significantly increase traffic in the area and decrease the value of their homes. The developer says the center will employ more than 1,500 people. The planning board is expected to vote on whether to approve or deny the plan this afternoon. We spoke with area residents and here's some of what they had to say. It was done underhandedly both by the developer and I'm afraid to say uh, in to some extent by the county. It's being really pushed through um, without the kind of scrutiny that it deserves. Certainly we've been uh, told for many many years more than the 15 years of the Smith Home Farm development project but even for years before that we've been you know informed of the the development concept for this area and that did not include becoming an industrial corridor currently spending so much tax revenue in neighboring counties you know that's where we shop and that's where we eat the same people who can afford those homes that they're paying so much money for in Prince George's County, we have a lot of high wage earners, okay? We're spending money for 500, 600, sometimes million dollar homes, but when we get ready to eat, we go to Fairfax County, we go to City of Alexander, we go to D.C., Anne Arundel, and I'm sure that many people on this board eat in those same places, okay? And I'd like to see us uh, build our communities so that we can live, eat, be entertained, and do our shopping where we live. If approved, the developer hopes to start construction by this fall and open in 2021. Police make an arrest in the case of Zoe Spears, the transgender woman found murdered in Fairmont Heights five weeks ago. The suspect is 33-year-old Gerardo Thomas of Baltimore. He has been charged with first-degree murder. Police say they traced a rental vehicle to Thomas that was near the scene of the homicide. 23-year-old Spears was found shot to death on 59th Avenue in mid-June. What we got from our uh, interview with him last night is we still do not have a motive in this case. Um, he was very vague about his involvement, and I'm not going to get too much into the interview and interrogation. Um, however, he does place himself on the scene. He does place himself there with a shotgun, and he does uh, place himself inside of that vehicle. Eventually, out of the 30,000 LPRs, it was narrowed down to one vehicle was hit on an LPR, a license plate reader, approximately a couple hours, two hours prior to the murder, approximately a half a mile away. We began to focus on that vehicle. We discovered that vehicle was a rental from an enterprise rental agency in Baltimore City. Meantime, police need your help finding the person who killed a homeless man in College Park. This is 33-year-old Ronnie Jacobs, Jr. He was found shot to death at the 8700 block of Rhode Island Avenue on May 22nd. Officers will be out tonight canvassing the area looking for clues in the case. Three adults and two teens are behind bars after allegedly robbing a Clinton pharmacy and leading police on a chase. According to officials at around 1.30 in the morning on Tuesday, the suspects, 18-year-old Corey Nelson and Rodney Wood, 19-year-old David McKenney, 17-year-old Keandre Real, and a teenage girl robbed the pharmacy at gunpoint on the 8,000 block of Branch Avenue. Within minutes, officers found the car and the pursuit began. Uh, surveillance video from up high shows the vehicle driving at a high rate of speed on Georgia Avenue. The car eventually crashes on the Georgia Avenue exit ramp to the Beltway. Four of the suspects have been charged as adults. The fifth charge is a juvenile. If you have any information, call the phone number on your screen, 1-866-411-TIPS. Well, it's another day in the 90s. While everyone was, is finding ways to beat the heat, it's especially important for seniors to stay cool. Our Keisha Butts has some tips for what they can do during this dangerous heat. As the high temperature is expected to reach 91 degrees today, we have some tips for seniors about what they can do to stay cool. The first tip is to try to stay inside. However, if you don't have air conditioning, there are several cooling centers across the county at community centers. Other tips for those without air conditioning are close all shades and blinds, turn on your electric fans, and apply a cool washcloth to your neck and wrists. Also, go to any place with air conditioning, such as the mall, library, or even a cool movie theater. 
Other tips for the elderly are drink plenty of fluids, especially water, and do not drink any alcohol. Apply sunscreen and take cool showers. The Department of Aging advises residents to check on their neighbors and to call 311 if they need further assistance. Call the Department of Aging at 301-265-8450 for more hot weather tips for seniors. In the control room, Keisha Butts, CTV News. Back to you. Thanks, Keisha, for those tips. Again, you can call the Aging Department at 301-265-8450 for more tips for seniors. Meantime, people who work outside have no choice but to brave the heat. CTV spoke with a group of utility workers who work from 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. to find out what they do to stay cool. They say the key is to stay hydrated. First thing in the morning, I, I talk to the guys and we, we tell them, we let them know that we have to drink a lot of water. The company provides the water and as well, we put, uh, put some Gatorades and sodas as well because we need some sugars too. We probably take a 15 minute break uh, when it's too hot in here. Primarily lots of water, juice, juice cool too. So that, that would be about it. And usually, like I said, really cool, a wet towel. Me, I keep a rag under my, sometimes I put ice in it, let it melt down on my head, that cool my body all. Or I wet it and put it on my head, that'll cool me off too. <laughs> they also say don't eat salty food and take multiple breaks.